Well, I've been in Darlinghurst for 30 years around the area, Kings Cross Darlinghurst, and, and uh, we as a family have lived in this house in Darlinghurst for 21 years now, or 22 years. So I've seen a lot of changes around the place, but there's a lot of things that stay the same, and, and my perception of the place evolves over time as well. So, you know, I must have walked between Darlinghurst down William Street to the city thousands of times in my life, but I still find subjects to, to draw there, and I'm interested in the changes that happen. I do quite a few urban pictures because it's just a reflection of, of where I live. Often I choose to draw and paint things that paint buildings, for example, that have no particular architectural merit, but they interest me in some way. I think something about Sydney, it, the way it grew and was planned is a bit anarchic, so you get these strange relationships between diverse architectures sort of shoved together, and I, I kind of like that about Sydney, uh, the fact that it is such a mishmash of things, and, and, and I'm trying to paint that, that sort of kind of happy anarchy. So I've done, for example, some paintings of the boulevard building halfway down William Street from various angles from the, the lawn near the Art Gallery of New South Wales and I can't say I think it's a beautiful building but somehow it, it, it fascinates me the way those two buildings sit together, the way they are up against the blue sky on a certain day in certain lights. There's another building at the top of, uh, and it's on Elizabeth Street that you see it as you walk down William Street and it's a big 1970s block or maybe 1980s and I've done about five different versions of it because I just find it interesting the way its windows reflect the sky, the way it sits in amongst the, the gardens of the domain. So I, I choose things for reasons I don't quite know why but I think uh, maybe I'm trying to get a picture of the real Sydney. I think light is very important to my drawing. It, yeah, I, I often scout out a spot I want to draw or paint and until I find it in the right light, and then and that's when I do the picture. It's interesting, you can get a quality of light just with a line. I think Matisse is able to do that in some of his very simple line drawings. There's a quality of sunlight, and it's just a line drawing, so he's not using chiaroscuro to capture the quality of light. It's something in the, in the quality of the line. People sometimes ask me, can I see your studio? I'd love to visit your studio, and I usually put them off because my studio is actually two pretty pokey rooms downstairs and it's hard to walk into them as they're pretty cluttered and I see it, those rooms more as just a sort of base camp for my adventures out to, to draw and paint. Well what I do often in my studio is I don't, I don't actually paint here but I look at what I've done and, and when it comes to the time of having an exhibition I try and think of arrangements of some of these watercolours into small groups so that they make up a kind of a narrative and these are these are some watercolors I did at my friend's um, sheep station in, in Wyala. I don't quite understand why I choose particular subjects it's quite an intuitive thing but on the on the other hand I think it's not so much about choosing a spectacular site or motif to paint it's about something that has associations and often there are associations of of, of friendship, say if you go and stay with someone in a particular spot you think about that place in a different way because there's personal associations and I, I, I believe in that quite strongly that so are certain streets or streetscapes or landscapes have associations for you and, 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 and you love them for that reason and you, you learn to love them. Using colour in these drawings I'm trying to capture the feeling of what it's like to be there at that moment, at that time and, what, and in that way I can pass on the emotion I had when I saw that particular motif or subject at that place and time and in that light. So the colour enriches the drawing, I, I hope. I um, often work on, on this sort of scale, which is pretty small. I, I cut these sheets of paper up myself with hot-pressed watercolour paper, which is really nice to draw on in line, and then I put the watercolour on top. I can always have this pad with me and a little set of watercolours, it's very portable. Sometimes they go up to this, this scale, which is you know, pretty big, eh? um, but uh, it's all, it's, yeah, it's very portable. I like working on that scale and also there's the element of people not noticing me too much when I'm painting in the street in an urban situation. People sometimes might even just think I'm doing up my shoelace because it's, it's pretty discreet painting that way and I've got a little stool I carry with me now so I can just set up on the footpath and um, do a little watercolour. Sometimes people might throw a coin at me, but uh, 